Everyone, I think, has got a loop pack. And, you know, there's lots of sounds, you know, included in these loops that you may not be, uh, that may not be provided individually. So if there's one sound you like off a loop, you can just, let's do that, let's demonstrate that. So I'm going to create another uh, MIDI channel here. And I'm just going to listen to this. Hi hat is nice, so I could just, if I like that hi hat, I could go right. I'm going to go into this. I'm going to isolate that hi hat, and once again, I've got to make sure. Let's put the hi hat pattern in first. Let me just go to C3 and just put in offbeat hi hat pattern, and then let's play this here. And you can hear that's out of time. So I need to go into here and I need to make sure that I get the beginning of that hi hat. And sometimes it's quite hard to find it, but a general rule, it's, it's better to chop a tiny little bit off the beginning than it is to leave a little bit of space. Because if you leave a little bit of space, sometimes that may sound nice and authentic and slightly out of time. But other times it may mean that your drums are out of time and they're kind of clashing and stuff and a bit uh, clangy, which isn't good. And let's hear what else we've got in there. So you can hear we've got a little bit of a kick drum in there or something that we don't want. So we can just use the high pass filter on our simpler to take that out. And then we really want to find the end of the sample as well not good to leave all that extra space in there so let's just nicely bring that to the end so we chop that neat, neatly there and then if we wanted to add a little bit of uh, grip to it we could use you know these filters in these filters in Ableton uh, sorry my my child is saying good night in the background there these filters in Ableton kind of mimic um, analog filters they so can add a little bit of drive and grip to it so just by changing these filters, add a little bit of resonance. And you could just carry on doing that for, for as long as you like, you know, getting little hits out of loops or records or stuff you find on YouTube. Another thing that I like to do is, before we're looking at taking individual um, sounds out of, um, uh, loops using simpler but I also you can do it in audio as well it's, it works a little bit differently it a bit more interesting so first we can move around the start point here change the groove and then we can remove the ones we don't want in there so if I hit if I hit my clip volume here I'm going to my automation and I hit my clip volume and I use this pen tool I can actually change the uh, grid so let's maybe go for uh, one quarter and start there and just take this stuff down which is do is I can start to tune this by using the transpose okay, that's kind of nice. 
if I wanted to do some automation on the transposition, I could do that as well. If I could have this bit. could really shorten this down and have just trying to mess around you can also get some polyrhythms going on by it's not going to work with this sample though we're going to explore some uh, polyrhythms and polymetric stuff later but Oh, that kind of works. Yeah. So we've got an unusual loop length there. And that kind of creates something that's a bit uh, polymetric. So it's looping it at a set kind of different time um, the rest of the track. It creates a bit more of an interesting rhythm. like that and then we could go and process this second drum group as a whole I think I probably wouldn't use um, drum rack on this I'll probably use glue compressor actually just to give it a little bit of a um, just kind of, well, glue it together, I suppose. So let me select this here. I just want, actually we can start with a preset. Let's start with something a little bit, uh, a catch piece is always a nice one. Little bit of soft clipping. So that kind of brings it all together a little bit. No real pump in there. Hi, this is Roger Sanchez. Hi, this is Lenny Fontana. Hey guys, this is Jackie. Hi guys, Amber D here. Hi, I'm Paul Maddox. And this is Saytech. Hi, this is Kyle V, and you're watching Mix Masters TV, where you can access world class producers in your studio every single day. Mix Masters.